The coronavirus pandemic has brought challenges for us all. For the Court of Justice of the European Union, ensuring the continuation of its hearings normally held in Luxembourg, despite the various travel restrictions, was of paramount importance. Court of Justice and General Court hearings are public and are held here in Luxembourg. Lawyers from all over Europe travel here to argue their case. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the first difficulty was how to make this hearing safe for participants. This challenge was met by applying new rules in the courtrooms to ensure everyone's safety. But the new issue arose that could potentially delay cases. What if travel bans or quarantine rules prevented lawyers from physically coming to Luxembourg? To overcome this challenge, the institution innovated. By working together, the court's departments provided a unique video conferencing service for our hearings, thereby minimizing the risk of delays and ensuring the exercise of the rights of defense. I think it's very good that the court offers uh, both uh, possibilities and if you decide to come to the court, I think it's necessary to take the necessary precautions. The salles d'audience have been aménagées with this cette perspective, à a savoir une distance entre uh, les, les juges, une distance entre parties, parties qui uh, sont invitées à ne plus plaider depuis un lutrin, mais depuis leur place, sans bouger et en gardant euh, leur masque. On utilise l'Internet euh, de manière cryptée, j'insiste là-dessus, donc la sécurité euh, est aussi très importante. Mais il arrive qu'on ait des coupures euh, lors des audiences, on rétablit la connexion, on s'assure que tout fonctionne et l'audience peut reprendre normalement. Pour arriver à cette qualité, on organise évidemment beaucoup de tests euh, préalablement à l'audience. On s'assure que le site distant a bien le bon micro, a bien la, la, le, bon, le bon équipement, que la qualité de la connexion est, est bonne et que donc elle permet de garantir aux interprètes la meilleure qualité audio possible. Chers collègues, vous pouvez vous mettre sur le cadre en français ou en anglais pour faire les commentaires. Our technical staff, they get uh, in contact with the remote site. Uh, they explain the technical requirements for that. And in the second uh, stage, uh, we have interpreting tests. So we gather a team uh, which uh, then verifies if the image and the video quality are good enough uh, for uh, the purposes of hearing here at the court. Les interprètes qui ont l'habitude d'interpréter des orateurs présents à Luxembourg et à quelques mètres de la vitre qui se trouve devant nous euh, sont maintenant sur un écran soit dans la salle au fond de la salle soit dans la cabine puisque nous avons des, des écrans dans la cabine également et nous devons donc travailler sur la base de cette image sur un écran et d'un son qui vient de loin qui peut être déformé uh, in the past uh, when consecutive interpretation was abandoned and then simultaneous interpretation was introduced uh, they managed somehow, uh, the pioneers of this, of this uh, profession, to compress time. So uh, there was almost no waiting between the speaker uh, spoke and the interpreter uh, interpreted. Now, with this uh, way of working with remote connections, somehow we've managed to compress space. So that way we have allowed parties that were not able to physically be in Luxembourg to somehow intervene and to be present in the hearing and during the hearing. We were able to hear the entire hearing very well, we were able to hear the translators very well, so all in all it was a, it was a very positive experience. Opening the courtrooms during the pandemic has been quite the challenge. Since hearings started again on the 25th of May, the Court of Justice and the General Court have held no fewer than 284 hearings. Thanks to the innovative spirit of a number of our departments, 
lawyers who could not be physically present here in Luxembourg were able to present their arguments remotely in 89 hearings, representing a total of 107 cases. In one of my hearings in November, we even had four participants joining via video conference from four different countries at the same time. And all this has been made possible without sacrificing multilingualism. Any of the 24 official languages can still be used and interpretation is provided. This success means that the system will continue to be used in 2021 in light of the continuing pandemic. It thus has become an essential tool in ensuring the continuity of the European Public Administration of Justice. The court's success in setting up remote hearings means that justice has continued to be served for the benefit of all EU citizens.